Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks and in today's lesson I'm going to show you how you can use Excel's lookup functions to look up values for an invoice. We're going to be using three lookup functions, the index function, the match function, and the VLOOKUP function. What values will we be looking up? We'll be looking up the item number when we know the description. We'll be looking up the unit price when we know the item number. All right, let's begin. Over here, I have a price list and I have an invoice. Now, notice that these are both worksheets in the same workbook. I'm going to be looking up the item number. I know the description. I've already used data validation to give me a drop down menu, a list in data validation. So I know the description, but my warehouse says, Danny, I need the item number in order to accurately fulfill the order. The item number resides over here. It resides on the price list worksheet and it's going to be in this name range that I have over here. I've named this range item. All right, let's begin. We're going to start off by a combination of the index function and the match function. So equals index. And notice that the index returns a value at the intersection of a row and a column. What I'm going to do is for my first argument, the array. Remember, I'm looking up an item number. So the array is going to be this name range over here item. When I name a range, I can use the keyboard shortcut F3 to give me a list of the name. So I'll paste the name range item into the function put a comma. Now for my second argument for the row number, I'm going to use the match function. Now this is going to be a little bit more of a complicated formula, so I'm going to complete writing this up here in the formula bar. So match, and now match has three arguments, the lookup value, the lookup array, and a match type. The lookup value, what we're looking up here is going to be the description. We want a match for the description. So the match that we're looking for is going to be in cell C24. That's the description, comma. Now, the second argument is the lookup array. Remember, we're looking up for a match for the description. So that's going to be in this name range over here called description. And once again, use F3 as the shortcut to be able to give you a list of your name ranges. Now, for our third argument, it is an optional argument. In this case, I want an exact match. So I'm going to use zero. All right, again, that's optional. Now, I'll close off the match function with the right parentheses, and I'll close off the index function with the right parentheses. Hit Control Enter, and there you go. So I've used the index and the match functions in order to look up the item number when I know the description. And watch how this will change. Remember, I have a drop down menu. So you see that will change automatically. All right, our next challenge is we need to be able to get the unit price. I'm going to use the VLOOKUP function. The VLOOKUP function will say, what do you want to look up? In this case, I want to look up to find the item number over here in our price list. And then when I find it, I want to find the unit price that matches this item number. All right, let's begin. Equals VLOOKUP. And now we see that the first argument is the lookup value. So the lookup value is the item number on the invoice. The second argument is the table array. Now the table array is over here on the price list. I'm going to highlight this table array over here. Now I haven't given it a name range. When I select the table array, it's important that the item number that I'm looking up is in the leftmost part of this function. And it's also important that I make this an absolute cell reference. So I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut F4 to put dollar signs in front of the columns and the rows. I can finish this off by saying the index number. Remember, I'm looking up the price. So this is column one in the array. The price is in column two. And for a final optional argument, I want to make this an exact match. So I'm going to write in false. And now I'll close off the parentheses, click, and there you go. And when I change the description, notice that the item number changes and it will look for this item number over here to find the price. So now all I have to do is put in a quantity and I have a formula over here that will, oh, I put a 
wrong symbol in there. Alright, there you go. And now I have used the match, the index, and the VLOOKUP functions in order to populate the invoice. So this is a sample of the tips that I offer in my 50 best tips. You can get 50 Excel tips, 50 Word tips, and a lot more. And I'll see you in the next lesson.